So the topic of solid mechanics has a long history in the education of engineers and is one of the fundamental ideas of understanding how loads interact with structures and then structures decide whether they're going to stay up or fall down. And you can teach these topics in a fairly abstract, theoretical way, which you could say there's a certain efficiency to that. Or you can teach it in ways that's really connected with messy problems, with the ambiguity of real engineering, with the teamwork of engineering. And I was much more excited about teaching it that way, believing that it would be more engaging to students and more fun for me. So one key thing for me was moving away from the three lectures a week at 50 minutes and then a lab session to two two-hour long sessions. Um, and what that allows you to do is not be tied to a particular learning scheme because you're now in lecture or now in lab. And it lets you blur the lines between, okay, we're having a mini lecture and now you're going to work with the person next to you on solving a problem. And then we're going to move into a lab right in that same big classroom and applying it to some physical objects. So what we've done now with the 100 students is they're divided into four groups. Each group is called a pod. With this structure, there are 20 to 25 of them that are really going to get to know each other fairly well. You could describe it as a smaller class within a larger class. There's one TA that's assigned to those 25 students who sit in the same area together in the classroom. And so that TA now wanders around to look at who's having trouble. Is somebody not working with their teammate? Is somebody already gotten through it? Well, you might be able to ask them some probing questions about, okay, you've got this answer. What are the implications? So it's making the role of the CAs or TAs much more active during the two hours than just sitting in the back of the room. We also do make efforts to rotate where the pods are physically sitting in the room because if you're in the pod that's in the back, maybe you like it because I'm less likely to pick on people in the back to you know, ask what's your opinion on it. But we, we have a rotational scheme and when students come in they see on the whiteboard in the front where they're supposed to sit for that class session. I've learned to see that there actually needs to be more coaching. Working with the person next to you isn't necessarily easy for a lot of students. So, you know, how do you help people learn to feel comfortable with someone they may or may not know very well, to dive into a technical problem and learn to help one another? Because in fact, engineering work gets done on teams and there's arguments and there's disagreements and you have to get the work done. There's a whole body of literature that's really saying being active in your own learning and not being a passenger, you know, in the classroom really makes for better learning.